NASA has for the first time confirmed the presence of molecular water on sunlit regions of the moon, indicating that lunar water is more widespread than previously known. The water was detected in Clavius Crater, located in the moon's southern hemisphere and one of the largest craters visible from Earth. The results were published in the latest issue of Nature Astronomy, along with a separate study that looked at how regions of permanent shadow on the moon could keep water trapped on the lunar surface. To detect the water, NASA used its Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA. SOFIA is a modified Boeing 747 that can carry a telescope into the stratosphere at altitudes up to 45,000 feet. According to NASA, this puts SOFIA above 99% of Earth's infrared blocking atmosphere, allowing astronomers to study space in ways that are not possible with ground-based telescopes. The origin of the water remains a mystery. In a press release on its website, NASA says the micrometeorites could deposit water on the lunar surface. Paul Hain of the University of Colorado Boulder, who led researchers on the second study, said other candidates are comets, asteroids, and volcanic eruptions. Alternatively, according to NASA, the water could form as the solar wind delivers hydrogen to the lunar surface, which reacts with oxygen-bearing minerals in the soil to create hydroxyl. Radiation from the bombardment of micrometeorites could transform that hydroxyl into water. Previous missions over the past 20 years confirmed ice in permanently shadowed craters around the moon's poles. Before SOFIA's results, scientists had found evidence of hydration in sunlit regions, but it was not clear if they had detected water, which is H2O, or hydroxyl, which is OH. The findings could have major implications if astronauts can access the water. NASA plans to send the first woman and the next man to the moon in 2024 as part of the Artemis mission, and aims to establish a sustainable presence there by the end of the decade. NASA sees the Artemis mission as a stepping stone to the next greatest leap, a crewed mission to Mars.